my name is Bethany, and I'm going to be reading a selection from The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R. Aratopian. You cannot pass, he said. The orc stood still, and a dead silence fell. I am a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Anor. You cannot pass. The dark vial will not avail you, flame of undoom. Go back to the shadow, you cannot pass. The Balrog made no answer. The fire in it seemed to die, but the darkness grew. It stepped forward slowly onto the bridge, and suddenly it drew itself up onto a great height, and its wings were spread from wall to wall, but still Gandalf could be seen, glimmering in the gloom. He seemed small and altogether alone, gray and bent, like a wizened tree before the onset of a storm. Out from the shadow, a red sword leaped flaming. Glamdring glittered white in answer. There was a ringing clash and a stab of white fire. The Balrog fell, and its sword flew up into molten fragments. The wizard swayed on the bridge, stepped back a pace, and then stood still. You cannot pass, he said. With a bound, the Balrog leapt full upon the bridge. Its whip whirled and hissed. He cannot stand alone, cried Aragorn suddenly, and ran back along the bridge. Elendil, he shouted. I am with you, Gandalf. Gondor, cried Boromir, and leapt after him. At that moment, Gandalf lifted his staff, and crying aloud, he smote the bridge before him. The staff broke asunder and fell from his hand. A blinding sheet of white flame sprang up. The bridge cracked. Right at the Balrog's feet it broke, and the stone upon which it stood crashed into the gulf, while the rest remained, poised, quivering like a tongue of rock, thrust out into emptiness. With a terrible cry, the Balrog fell forward, and its shadow plunged down and vanished. But even as it fell, its shadow <coughs> swung, its, it swung its whip, and the thongs lashed and curled about the wizard's knees, dragging him to the brink. He staggered and fell, grasped vainly at the stone, and slid into the abyss. Fly, you fools, he cried, and was gone. The fires went out, and the blank darkness fell. The company stood rooted with horror, staring into the pit. Even as Aragorn and Boromir came flying back, the rest of the bridge cracked and fell.